All right, so this is one of the questions you guys asked about. And uh, basically what, what we're told is that we're given some graph, and this is the graph of, I don't know, f of x. And we're being asked to graph uh, f prime of x, or the derivative of f. So first of all, I want to just recall what is it? I mean, the derivative ultimately is the slope of f, right? So I'm really trying to graph the slope of f of x. So really what this, what's going to be on my graph is I'll actually have x, and then I'll have f prime of x, or the slope of f of x. That's really what I'm graphing is my y value. And so if I know this, I mean, let's come back and let's just get a point. So for instance, like, uh, you know, at negative two, and, and maybe we need to kind of label some of these. So like, yeah, we'll just go with a one, a one to one scale here. So that's a negative two there. I'll do that in black. So that's negative two, and then that'll be positive two. Um, and so what I know, like, let's see at like negative two, what I've noticed is it has a really small positive slope. F has a really small positive slope. So I don't know exactly what that slope is. I mean, I could go ahead and I could approximate it if I really wanted to, right? I mean, I could say like, look, that's negative. Well, I mean, it goes over four and up about one. So I could say it's ne it's like one quarter, positive one quarter. So I could say at negative two, we're looking at a slope of about one quarter. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I can sketch some of those. And I'm going to say, you know, like this line is then one, right? So that makes that one quarter. And then I could do the same thing. And ultimately, um, I'm going to make a lot of cool choices here. So I noticed that this graph, if it were to be shifted down, f of x would be an even, no, an odd function, right? It'd be an odd function. It'd be like that one of those double reflections. And so that really means that the slope, if I look, the slope at 2 and the slope at negative 2, they look about the same. In fact, they look identical. So I think this is just a vertically translated odd function, which means that if I know the slope at negative 2, I know the slope at positive 2. It's just nice. Now, ultimately, um, in the later stages, we should be able to just kind of go along and sketch this graph. We should just be able to, like, you know, I know what it looks like just sketching, sketching, and sketching, you know, kind of like, uh, I know what it looks like, something like that. Um, but to begin with, I would just encourage you to think about some points. So let's think about another point. And you don't even have to have perfection. It says sketch. I didn't even need the one quarter. I don't even care, okay? So, I mean, I ultimately could have just been like, oh, I know it's a slightly positive slope at negative two and positive two. You know, that's fine. So then look at negative one. Look at what happens to the slope at negative one. I mean, ultimately, it looks like, I don't know, it oh, maybe almost double the size of the other one. Maybe not perfect, right? But ish. So I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to do that, which means I know the slope of the other side too. As a matter of fact, since it's a sketch, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that just because I don't really care. And then, I mean, think about, um, think about if we come to one half. Look at the slope there. Ooh, that's even more positive. And then, and then think about if we go to like negative one quarter, look at the slope there. Well, that's even more positive. And then think about if we do the slope like really close to zero. That's even more positive. And then think about if we got even closer. It almost looks like we have a vertical, vertical tangent there. And I'm wondering if that's what they were trying to do. So that means that my slope is getting, you know, as I'm coming from here, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which is why my y value and my derivative is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And ultimately, I'm going to get to some vertical tangent or some, I could almost think about it as an infinite slope or an undefined slope. So I'm going to have an undefined or a vertical asymptote. You know, and then on the other side, I'm still going to have a really, really high positive slope, still have high highly positive y value. And that slope is just actually not... It's getting smaller, right? Because if I look big, smaller, smaller, smaller. And so that's what's happening here. Is it getting smaller and smaller and smaller? Now, if I look at what's happening, what seems to be happening in the slopes, let me get rid of some of that. The slope almost seems to be not quite flatlined yet, but it seems to be going there, doesn't it? So it almost seems like the slope 
is becoming zero-ish. So my y values, right, my y values are getting closer to, to zero on my derivative function. It's almost like the x-axis is an asymptote on my derivative function. And so, um, you know, what I just did in the end, what I did in the beginning is how I make sense of things if I'm really struggling, you know, where I plot point by point. Uh, what I did in the end is kind of how I tackle them now. I kind of look and I'm like, all right, what's the slope? Okay, this is what's happening. So slope is small, slope is small. Slope's getting bigger, slope's getting bigger. Slope of f is getting bigger, so the derivative is getting bigger. You know, actually, maybe I should do it in green. So, you know, slope's getting bigger. Getting so slopes get like so f prime of x is getting bigger, the y value is getting bigger, the y value of f prime of x is getting bigger because the slope here is getting larger. So that's why the y values here are getting larger. Anyway, hope this helps. Um, yeah.